So, hi, I'm Caroline Ferrier. I'm a postdoc here at the National Institute for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis. I'm a plant ecologist and I'm really fascinated by how seemingly small scale interactions among plants can add up to have a big influence at the landscape and the global scale. When you look around, you can see all sorts of signatures of the interactions among plants on plant strategies and communities. I think one of the most important and maybe obvious ones of these um, signatures is tree investment in woody biomass. So think of an open field with short grass and forb species. These individuals are doing a great job of taking up the light. But an indiv another individual could come in and start investing in a stem. It would grow out of the shade of those short individuals and start shading them. It might, with this strategy, it might reproduce more and start to take over the environment. Now with a stand full of tall individuals, those individuals are again really good at taking up the light, but now they've invested in a stem to do it. So a lot of the wood we see is driven by this individual level competition for light. And there are similar arms races for other resources in plants. In my work, I study how these drivers, the importance of these drivers and how they interact to influence plant communities um, at the landscape scale. So an important challenge for scientists right now is to predict the pace of increasing CO2 in the atmosphere and thus the pace of climate change. With more CO2 in the atmosphere, plants are actually more efficient at photosynthesis and can take more CO2 out of the atmosphere. But how this translates into carbon sinks and stand level carbon storage um, depends on how the, what the plants do with that additional carbon, how they allocate it to their different tissues. So understanding the drivers that influence plant allocation strategies is thus critical in understanding the feedbacks of plants with the global carbon cycle when not only CO2, but also temperature, rainfall, and disturbance regimes are changing all at the same time. For more information about postdoctoral fellowships at the National Institute for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis, visit our website at www.nimbus.org.